That's so good. The small ones, Hilda. The one seed. 17 total NBO championships. Six feet. Originally from Brazil and now in St. Pete. Put your hands together for Raquel. Raquel Ferreira! And her partner, 5'11. Originally from Poland, now in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Carolina! Well, Women's finals, we are going to honor our nation, the flag right behind you. If you please stand and don't your cap. Where be my flag? I mean, take it off. Yeah. Where be my flag? We'll have an answer. Where be all glory? All right, you and me. Shipmates again. Yeah. Yeah. Final right here. Seven days, that's all. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, I knew he was going to send us some days. Brilliant, Poland, Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we are. Good afternoon. Welcome to beautiful Hermosa Beach, California. We are north of the pier. I am Jason Gabilius, joined by Sean Ladig, volleyball extraordinaire and NBL favorite, as we get our first point going on in the finals, the women's finals, the NBL finals. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. There's a little wrist away. Striking first is Kaya Marciniak. What do you think of that shot, partner? Man, that was a good, hard, hard swing. These two teams have a little history together, don't they? They seem to be battling out every, every tournament. So my understanding, they met in the finals in Houston, in, uh, in San Antonio. San Antonio, they sure did. And actually, Kim and they actually got their first win. Cool win. That, 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 uh, tournament. Well, that history continues today because they met in the, in the winner's bracket in the third round. And um, Marciniak and Ferreira had beaten them two sets to one. So they got knocked into the contenders bracket, and here they are, right back into the mix. Yep. Out of the contenders bracket and back in the finals. Made it back into the finals. Number one versus number four. Number one, Ferreira and Marciniak versus number four, Kimberly Hildreth and Marina Savage. Oh, nice high. There's a line over. What do you think the key to this game is going to be? It's going to be the, uh, a blockers game or... You know what? In uh, San Antonio, it was the defense. It was the defense was just out of control. I remember she was touching everything on the court. But then again, that it all stemmed from the block of Samade. Oh, what a beautiful shot by right Ferreira! Over, right over the block. Samade stepped over to take out that angle shot, and actually Ferreira just put it right on top, right over. Raquel Ferreira, out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, now living in Florida, St. Pete, six feet tall. But doing playing all the defense, an inch taller than her partner, but yep. yet, but yet the primary digger. Yeah. Samaday line over, but there's some recovery. Oh. 
Not yet. Coming outside. Hill's rest. Hildreth goes on over the block. Does she have to go? She yes, go. she does. She's got to go. Just a nice set. Winds up on top Great of this. Nobody. nobody there. <laughs> Puts it away. What a beautiful cut back on the line. Catches the right shoulder. Way to turn that one. We have one more point for the side switch. The score is three serving three. This is the first set. Thank you, friends of Facebook, for joining us. It's a beautiful day in sunny Hermosa. Something, something tells me these ladies are going to make it rain. And here's a side switch. Yeah. Four, three. Four, three, four, three. So right. Heavily, heavily favored to win this tournament. It's is uh, Ferreira and Marcinia. Do you agree? Yes, they are. Yeah. I think they've won at least five of the last seven tournaments so far, dating back from last last season. So definitely highly favored. That's a pretty easy dig. This point's going to be academic. Oh. <laughs> She has a pretty uh, heavy-handed swing out of her, uh, with her left. She does. Uh, her dominant hand, of course. But some balls, it looks like she's not even swinging that hard. No. It's just flying off. Of Five to three is the score. Forever to serve. Samaday tries to go line over. There was a touch on that one. Do you think Ferrer left home a little bit early? Kind of, like we said, she was trying to actually cut back, but notice Hermosa saying that's almost an impossible feat to do. Oh, nice string. There's a beautiful wrist away. Actually, more of a drop shoulder, but just the same cross, cross court into the sand is the result. She gets up high. She really does. She really does. It certainly explains why she's a full time blocker. Very, very good athlete up in that. There. Great serve right down the middle. Where's Samaday going to go? Oh, she tries to cut it back, but she's right there. Oh, look, she's got a nice hand set. Oh, oh a big oh. left arm. Hand right dip. down the hatch. Yeah. No. So, what do you think Samaday and um, you watched this match before? What does Samaday and Heldreth have to do? They got to, of course, they got to minimize all their any, any kind of mistakes. They can't just give away points because that's a big factor. And like you see right now, they're down by three. So here's the serves. Seven four is the serve. Oh, and Hildred, Hildred with some hands right there. But a big block. A lot of pressure. I think they're in their head right now. Yeah. You got um, you got uh, Ferrero leaving. It's moving left and right in the back row. Yeah, she's all over the place. The first two shots were easy digs. They put pressure on her to hit, and now that she hits, she's gotten blocked. And here's another serve, leading by four. Great serve. Yeah, Hildreth is just going to have to oh, right off the block. A little bit of luck involved, but that's okay, too. Yeah. That's, that's also part of this game. Still counts. It's a big part. I think what they need to do is they're going to have to just relax. They're going to have to get through this first game. They're going to have to just find a niche. But I do agree with you. I think there are certain teams, championship teams, that oh, as there's an ace and uh, a little bit of a break there yeah. and makes the switch 8-6. But I, I think um, there are certain championship teams that can make a ton of mistakes and still win. Right. And I think that's the number one seed. I think that's for and They definitely have uh, that ability. And you're right. Uh, Samaday and Heldreth cannot. Yes. Like, they have to play a perfect game just for it to be 19 up. Pass. Nice high set. See if she goes, oh, a big block. Sits on the line. Oh. Got it. Got it up. She's got a really fast cutback line shot. I was hit at about 75%, but still um, relatively fast. Again, we're in the first set, folks at home. And on your phone, Facebook Live. Oh, no, no, oh. Goes over. oh she gets it picked up. She's got to go over. She had to go oh, over way, and way to talk to her. Way to let her know that her, let her partner know that that was out. You can hear some of her fans in the crowd saying, "No, no, no! <laughs> don't touch that ball! <laughs> don't touch it! Don't touch it!" Nine serving seven is the score. You got a jump serve coming. Yeah, that's a good one right there. But handle easily. You utilize, utilize it. Oh, she saw her break and she just went over that. The block of that pokey. Yeah. 
She left home way too early. She did. She did. But I, I guess those are some of the chances they have to take. Though I, I think if she stays home on that, I think she risks giving up the cut and the deep line. She, she's gonna. I think in this in this game when they're in system, she she has to pick one or the other. Nice. Oh, lets it go, but it hits the line. It's the NVL line for an ace. The score is now 11 serving seven. Comfortable, comfortable four point lead and momentum belonging to the number one seed. Hey, what, that is a really good serve. She was Sama Day. She goes right at the. So there's a tip. Got it. She's got a touch with that tip. That was a smart tip. She looked at it before she hit the ball. So you as an experienced uh, beach volleyball player, you're peeling off the nets. Do you agree that it's better to just peel off and, and before they hit stop? Oh, definitely. Then, definitely then, stop. You definitely have to stop. Very, yeah. very difficult to dig on the run. It is. Well, your, your momentum is pushing you back, of course, and so it's hard to control. It's always easier to, to deal with one moving part rather than two. And there's a, the easiest side out there, probably going to have the entire match. Yeah. Um, Samade, 5'11, played for, I believe, from um, SUNY Buffalo. 23 years of age. So Samade served. A little administrative correction by the top official. Yep. Somebody with the serve. Again, 23 years of age, 5 foot 11 oh, in her second nice season. Serve. Oh, Hildreth has got it up. Just couldn't redirect that one back to Samade. As we enter the first technical timeout, we can talk about the mood of the game and the speed of the game. It's, it's at a moderate pace. Yeah. Um, and um, all of the momentum, pretty much all of it, if, uh, if not almost all of it, um, goes to the number one seed. Yes, it does. They're dictating the pace of the game. They, they decide how fast and slow it goes. Which they do so, they do so well. They do it every, every match that you watch. They, they seem to dictate. And I think a lot of teams, I don't know if they get up. They get intimidated or not, but they actually, they usually dictate the pace of the game every match that they play. As we take a little bit of a, a break from our timeout, we'll take a timeout from our timeout and talk about volleyball vacations. It's at Turks and Cactus Beach, one of the best beaches in the world. Um, have an opportunity to play it with the pros, volleyballvacations.com. Gives you an opportunity to play in tournaments, pick up and participate in clinics with the pros. And it's in one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And the dates are November 6th to November 13th. Yes. All inclusive vacation. That's Meaning drinks and booze are in the house. Volleyball and adult beverages. That's a combination. As we take the time to look around the crowd, some familiar faces and some uh, local talent. Dylan Holland, who was in the qualifier, made it to the third round. The bearded guy we call Sexy Jesus. Standing on the sideline is um, three-time um, next winner from Phoenix, Arizona, is Ola Wachowicz. Four-year player at St. John's University and stand at a Grand Canyon Beach team. I saw the McKibbins were here earlier. Yes, the, the beards are unmistakable. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> Bearded brothers. And there's a side out, a much needed side out. Yeah. That's the first point after the technical timeout. So let's see what um, some Samuel can do with the net, or Samaday can do with the net. Oh, great serve. She puts oh. it in there. Oh, makes her serve. job easier, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> That's the one thing that Hildreth and them are going to have to do. She has a, she's a great server, so she needs to serve tough. And also, she needs to. Uh, she gets a few digs. I think they can actually get back into this game. Samana gets a block. Hildreth gets a dig or two. Transitions nicely, so she goes back. That's a good serve. Oh. Hildreth and Samadoff um, took a set from them in the third round of the winners bracket. So they already sh they've already showed they can win. Yeah. Okay, this is one of those teams that's hard to take a set from. I mean, the first round was 21-16, 21-19. The second round, all identical, 21-19 and 16. Yeah. They are very good at closing out matches, and they're very good at winning games. This is what championship teams do. They're very good at game winning games decided by two. Yeah. 
Salvador with a nice pass. He'll just a nice set. Oh, oh yeah. she over. Got, she's got a dig on it. Yeah. Pereira's gonna go. She's gonna put it back into play. Samade. She puts it away. She can't control that one. But over jumping into the cross yes. in the original series was Marciniak, but uh, Ferreira did a nice recovery and stared at her a whole second and told her, wait a second, I can yeah. get that ball. <laughs> Here comes the serve. The lead is now 14-11. Serves out of the middle. Marciniak. Looking to cut back, maybe oh, no. Look at that. She sees the defender leave a little early and she just went hard angle. That was pretty. It's one of those things that she has a very good challenge shot. Sometimes the, the block shifts and jumps into the cross, allowing the dig to go line and she challenges cross anyway. Knowing that if she beats that cross, there's nothing but sand. 15-11. And uh, there's oh. a bit of a joust at the net, and she hits on two. And oh, what a great nine. dig by Pereira. Going short. Oh, she gets it up. Oh, beautiful oh, play. Oh, Following it to the line and putting on the brakes yeah. <laughs> is Raquel Pereira. It's a great play defensively by both teams. Big blocking at the net. With a big smile on her face. Raquel says, I'll take it. Now extending their lead to five. 16-11. Here comes the set. Oh, Missed away. Puts it away. Marina yeah. right around the block. I'd actually like to see um, Marina do a little bit more of that. Which I believe she, which she should. She definitely can. Some, some people have... Listen, some people have favorite shots. Yeah. Like, we're not machines with people, and some people send out favorite shots. Hers is uh, three variations across court. But the dig is there. And, you're, and, the, and the other ladies blocking line. Just go cross. Go as hard as you can. Your, your best shot against your, their best team. Sometimes it, take, it takes a little bit of conviction yeah. to do that. It's like that, sir, went off the outside of her hand and just got caught with the wind as well. The referee, um, thanking God for the pat. Okay, here she goes. See, there she oh. Perfect. I'd like to see her use that. Nice I'd like shot. to see her cut the court in half yeah. and, mm -hmm. and work that drop mm -hmm. shot, work the jumbo strip, work her power. Because yeah. that's her, her real power doesn't come from line. It comes from inseam. It comes from sharp cross. And it comes from what I call the sharp shooter. Yeah. She put that ball right on the outside of the left hand. So that was uh, a good shot. Go straight down the line with the serve. Oh, oh, off the block. Big swing. A little late on that jump. Yeah. I always say better late than never, but sometimes the hitter reads that and pulls the trigger first. 18 serving 13. If she gets that ball up, he'll just be there to pick that one up. At 100%. Oh, oh no. A little bit of a free ball oh, overpass. She's got, she's got oh. That's yeah. her yeah. She was looking to see if she was over the net, but she wasn't. She was. I agree. That one perfectly. I agree. I agree. She basically made a wall, yes. probably uh, particularly cautious <laughs> to not go over the net. Oh, oh nice swing. Yeah. Nice dynamic swing. She actually jumped and floated up to the oh. left on that one. Took a, real, took a real swing. Yeah. Now, the wind's blowing left to right on our computer screen. There's uh, wind off the water, but a lot of it's negated. And, um, by the um, center court. We have bleachers uh, absorbing a lot of it. Oh! oh. Nice. She nice. turned that line very nice. What a gorgeous swing. Set point opportunity number one. And just as soon as this match begins, <laughs> it seems like the set's going to be over. 20 to 14. Not getting, not getting paid by the hour. No. Because the number one seed, Ferreira and Marcinia. Nice pass. See what she does. There she goes out. She got it again. Oh. So we'll switch it up in 15, so 20. 15, 20. If there is an advantage side. Yeah. And it's it's more slight than, than the um, out of course because it's center court, but this would be it. Yeah. Structure and the bleachers and all that. That takes that kicks a little bit of that window. But you know what? It's still, it's still swirls out there. It's still adventurous. Yeah. If you look at the flags blow behind uh, the court. Oh, see the difference, and that ball is called in by the line judge. 16 serving 20. Set point opportunity number two. 
for the possible champs. Oh, she goes going on two, two but right nice there. recovery. That up. See if she goes live, she sure does. She got it. Right. She got it. She got it again. She peeled off the line. She saw there was no blocker there. So. Time out on the court. Give it up for our players out there. I like this time out. I think, I think now is as good a time as any. That's right. To, um, get, to get back into it. Talk it over. West Coast Championships, the NBL, is a hashtag. It's a great day here in Hermosa Beach, California, for the West Coast Championship. The NBL is going back. And we are north of the pier. Just north of the pier. This is my friends from New York and Germany and Croatia and Chicago. I say hello. From our group, our NBL heavy group in Florida, we say welcome to our living room. I'm Jason DeVillius, native New Yorker turned Hermosa Beach transient. And I am accompanied by Mr. Ledeg. And shout out to all the people in New Orleans, Louisiana, all the players out of Texas, Florida. As they come back from the timeout, we're seeing a little bit of a momentum change, and I, I like that because even if they lose the set, what you want is some kind of momentum going into the second That's set. Right. You don't want to you don't want to walk off that off the sand with your tail tucked between your legs. No, no. Because that'll just translate right into the second game. They're going to Ferrero. Nice that was a good see. set. Ferrero goes, tries to poke it. Was there a touch on that? There wasn't a touch. There wasn't a touch. No. No, oh, there's going to be an argument. It hit, it hit the net. I thought, I, was, I thought it hit the net myself. I wonder if they're going to instantly replay that on the... Um, it was. It definitely wasn't. She actually, she knuckled it with her left and hit the net. Right out, so. That was a good call. Good yeah. call, John. It's close enough where, where you and I saw two different things. Yeah. I guess I guess we leave it to the guy yeah. who's closest, huh? Yeah, he's got the best view of it. See if see they can replay that. Oh, now she just goes There's hard. A dig going over That's the a net. good dig. Way to communicate. Way to talk. Hildren gets that up. Does she got to go over? She did. She did. She had to touch that, so she had to go over. All the fans wondered why she didn't set it. The answer yeah. is she touch blocked it. So Block counts as a hit and save. And that is the end of the match. Winning the first set in rather fast and quasi easy fashion, 21 to 18 as the top seed, Raquel Ferreira and Kaya. Listen. Next round on the house. Let's take time out from our time out and talk about Club Med. Club Med Academy is located in Port St. Lucie, Florida. It's the only beach volleyball academy in the United States. That's right, the only one. Club Med is the official training center of the NVL and the place where we develop the game and all junior athletes. For more information, go to www.academies, that is IESacademies.com. We were talking a little bit about the Mikasa ball and how it compares to the Wilson and the, um, and the Mikasa uh, FIVB and, and the Malton. Yeah. It's a, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a touchy ball for sure, but I like it. It's nice. It moves, it moves a lot. Nice close, close serve. You pretty much shared the sentiment of, of many others. Yes. Now, as, as we're watching what the heck they're doing around the court, they're pouring water in the sand because... Cooling it down. The sand is cooling it down. Yeah. It's so hot right now. That well, that's actually burning the girls' feet. I can tell you from from Thursday, it was it was hot. Yeah, I had to wear sand socks actually. So. Well, anyone that's played in Florida or Point Pleasant, New Jersey, yeah, uh, where, where the temperature is even higher, it's it's, yeah. not, it's 78 degrees now. Yeah, I mean where it's 90 degrees, uh, your feet start to look like roast beef. Yes. <laughs> well, what we do is we usually put a towel. We take a big beach towel and we throw water on the towel. Uh, in the middle, in the middle, close to the service line. So anyone that's serving, just stand on that until the referee's ready to go. <laughs> so for at least two of the players, um, they're ready to come off and back on. But it's it. They, they put it at the back line, and that works very well. It worked very well in New York um, last year. Um, year 25. That's a quick fix. That's, a, that's one way to do it for sure. But one way or another, we gotta stop the burning. <laughs> that's right. Oh, yeah. 
I also want to give a shout out to Taylor Counts and the NBO Rise. It's a grassroots tournament series and affiliate membership program which supports existing volleyball club directors, tournament directors, and facility owners across the country. Want to learn more? Check out our website at NBO Rise, spelled R I Z E dot com. Taylor does a great job with that. They do, huh? Yes, they really do. How about the Play Fit Foundation, huh? The Play Fit Foundation is the NBL's official nonprofit. We're growing the game as the first priority. The pros run clinics across the country to donate sports equipment and educate the youth about living healthier and more productive lives throughout our favorite sport, your favorite sport, volleyball. For more information, visit playfitfoundation.org. That is playfitfoundation.org. Make some noise, we're on you! We're coming down! Oh, we got a lot of crowd participation. Look at them going crazy out there. Let's go through that. Let's go through that. Here we go. You guys owe me. You owe me. Make some noise. Give us some love. So windy. So windy. Oh, man. So hot. So hot. Look at the peanut. The sand is just brutal. The sand is brutal out there. That's perfect. It looks like Marciniak and Ferreira there getting on the court. They look like they want to get this finals over as yes. quickly and with as little pain as possible. In fact, Mar Marciniak already yeah. first one right. waiting on everyone else. She's ready. She wants, to get, she wants to get as much time in between these matches as she can. It's a really nice work by Kimberly uh, Hildreth who found a way to get more involved by um, just being a better setter, serving tough, yeah. finding a way to get those digs and earn, and earn some of those points because uh, the bulk of the serves have gone all to Mar Marina Samadet. And, and they're going to keep on that. Oh, it's a nice high set. Oh, great shot. Good shot out block. the middle. Nice back set. Oh, Hildreth gets it, but she can't quite control that one. Lucky's having a, a unique drop on that uh, cut shot. She went wrist away and cut and went, went um, didn't really go straight down, but went up and down and hard. Guess who they're serving to? That's right, you guessed it. And they served her left shoulder. She went out of bounds. And that's a quick 2-0. That's what happens when you serve a right-handed hitter's left shoulder. Yes. If they don't step in and in front of it and protect that, sometimes they catch themselves swinging their arms and either A, goes straight up where the, the setter has to run over, yeah. or they just outright shank it. Goes right back to it. That's a good pass. And that one she stepped in front of. Oh, so she goes. Easily dug. Oh, she got a big block. She turned around, got it. He'll just got to oh, go Oh, goes over the top. Oh, can she get her? Good skill set. Oh! That ball's going oh, over. Job, bro. Nice hand set. She goes for the cut. <laughs> what, a and great, dig that. what a great play. A dig that says Marino Salmon. Yes. Oh, nice. She wanted Way to, to hustle, put an end to that play. Way to hustle. Perhaps the uh, best hustle play of the uh, of the finals definitely. happens here in the second set. For those of you at home or on your phone, live streaming this and joining us just now. Friends of the Facebook, I say welcome. I'm Jason Gabilius, along with Mr. Ladig. And we're north of the pier, just north of the pier at Hermosa Beach, right next to the beach house in Hermosa. Looks like the score is two serving one. Pretty place, nice place to stay. Yeah, oh, definitely. I came here in 2012, just on vacation. That's it, stayed, huh? Stayed for eight days. Never. Guess what? Four years later, Never, I, it looks so great. Still here. <laughs> decided to move. There's a ball shanked to the uh, wide line. Let's put it right outside. I'll tell you what, going, it's, it's a risk if you're going to serve with that side, especially with this win. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. You can't you can't serve these two lollipops. No, you can't. To quote Paul Sunderland, if you serve lollipops, you'll get licked. <laughs> They're serving the same set. Oh, See, that's what I'd like her to do. Yeah. I'd like her to you use her variety. Yeah. She's got a big toolbox of, of cross-court shots. So what if it's boring? So what if it's one-dimensional? 
Productive is the key. Correct. Productive is the common denominator. Looking to get points here. This has got a nice close serve. That's a nice serve. So well pad. Oh, she picks it up. Oh, good turnaround. He's almost there to get that one off. Marciniak to serve. One serve from the switch off. Enjoying a two-point lead right now is Caius Marciniak and Raquel Ferreira. Jump loader. That one might have went out. She took it. And once again. He's got to hit over his shoulder. Yeah, she did. And, yeah, and it pops straight up. Great hit. Oh, good with that one. Mm. Yep. And that's 5 2 switch. And as they switch, it's what we were talking about um, in the beginning of the game. If she doesn't step in front of that yep. and, and execute a, properly, a proper pass. So they're going to serve very hard the entire match. Well, I say they're going to serve her left shoulder until she takes it. That's exactly it. They're going to make her step over. Well, that way she's going to make, you know, she's going to leave middle open. Middle open but. One of those things she's gonna have to. What is it easier for her to do? To step right, or can she step left? Quicker? Which you know, which one is she feel more comfortable? It's wow. easier to step right. She's a right-handed passer. That's right. And her swing, her arm swing on her right on her right shoulder has a better chance of recovery. That's exactly it. See, right, a free ball right, right there. there. There's another one that goes right there. So she's gonna go line. That's an easy shot right there. Actually, it's good communication by her partner Raquel Tolder. You know, gave her plenty of time to so put a line shot. An early call online allows her to process the call yep. and execute the move. And wanting to get a ball in her hands as quickly as possible yeah. is Kaya Marcinia. They might want to pick up the pace. There you go. So they're going to go to her left side the entire game. Oh, she goes. She tries to go line. She gets the line. There you go. They are not giving any any breathing room for these two. <laughs> what makes you say that? The score is, the score is seven to two. <laughs> I don't and know. Now they I, switch sides. I think I think they they kind of remember San Antonio. You know, remember the Alamo, and they not they don't want that to happen again. Man, this is the one side game. Switch sides. Yeah, she's switch sides. Let's see. Let's see if she's gonna go high. high. Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! Puts it out of the Coliseum. That's a good balance. What you incredible know, range on that hey, swing. I mean, and if that's what she needs to do, that's what they need to do. That would have been a double block for indoor. Yeah. It's good that they do that right now. They switch up. They try to find something that does work, and actually they stick with it because you know what? They get their way too long, and it's, it's they waited too long. Yep, and everyone in this packed full arena um, can, can agree and will agree that it's shit, it can't stay the same. Yeah, that's right. It can't stay the same. They have to try something. Yeah. Four serving seven. So he'll just back to serve again. Hildreth out of um, Michigan. She's going to join her second season. She's going to go. She's going to use the win. And she'll. Oh, good. Oh, 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 Look at this. A much needed block for now, her confidence. We're back within two. Five serving seven right there. Just as quick as that, folks. Three straight points. So One of the best servers in the tournament, yeah. Hildreth. Yeah, she's got a great jump serve. Oh, oh there's the middle. Nice one. Let's see. Oh, she's got that. She's going to. Oh! It's a good shot by Marciniak. Sometimes you get burned by perfection. Mm -hmm. a, a very good defender. By no stretch of the imagination to average. She's a way above average in that position. Yep. The problem is when a, when a set is perfect, if you can't run it down, you have to, you have to um, telegraph and risk leaving home. Sometimes. I think if the set is out of system, I think she could run down everything. I think yeah. she could stay right in the middle of the court, and because the shot has to go up and down, and because it's a down ball instead of a real legit hit, yeah. I think she can cover everything. But on the sets that are tight, it's just really, really tight. Yeah. I'm also <laughs> noticing from a blocker's perspective, the domination, when she goes up, she, put, she doesn't press as quite as, as much as she could, but what she needs to do is she needs to actually show that line, and that's going to be out. She doesn't show, she needs to show that line and jump into that angle. Good enough, six, a little bit more. I think that right there might give her a few extra blocks this game. Try to block that ball with her on the right side, with the right hand, and give her a little more angle with that left. Yeah, you're right. And um, the other thing is, how, how many plays have we seen the, the number one seed out of system? Yeah. How many? How many? How many shanks? How many balls did they have to run down on on on, um, on side out attempts? Not many. If any at all. Yeah, yeah. There might have been one in the last set. So here we go back. Up 9-6. So, so, between the outside. Here goes the serve. 
Oh, there's nice a big shot. What a beautiful cut. You see, she went back to the left side again, so maybe she just needed to build a little confidence and then get her mind right and then back on the other side. So, I mean, that's what it takes sometimes with players. Just confidence and that mental aptitude is huge. It's 80% of the game. Oh, oh great what a serve shot. down the line. So, you know what? She's got it. Oh, that was a great shot. Wow. And once again, a great serve. It's turned into a good pass. And, and the pass that qualifies is good enough. Sets in front of her. She doesn't even need the call. Yep. 10 out of 10 times seeing the court beats the call. <laughs> Pereira back to serve. But there's a good pass. Oh, he just goes over on two. But oh, she's got it picked up. Samade's got that. She's going to back, set her back. Ooh. In the middle. Oh. Oh, goes right over. Let's see if he just gets that line. She does. But Ferreira's right there. Let's see where she's going to go. She cuts it back to Hildred. What a good rally, girls. Let's see what goes. Oh, right through the block. A much needed break big, for big, Hildred big break and right Samade. There. Yes. You know what? That was a great rally by both teams. It would push it away. I think they've also done a good job weathering the storm. I mean, they're not playing particularly good volleyball, but this girl's 10 8. Yeah. This is striking distance. This is not an insurmountable lead to come back. You're right. You're right. But it, they have to find a way to get a, a couple of these passes out of system. The only serving system, if you have a good blocker and you trust the other team's set of the set tight enough where you can joust it out. But, but dominating right now are both hitters on service. These side out machines. I've been the number one seeds, Marcinia and Ferrero. Oh, they're doing a replay. That's such a good. That was such a good, good rally right there by both teams. What would the challenge be? Well, no, they're doing a challenge. They're actually doing a replay just to, to show oh. the viewers on mm -hmm. NBL on the NBL net on the on the, on the, on the live web. Nice. He's gonna. Oh, Hildreth is right there. Oh, oh! Right. right there, right there. Want to talk about earned points, huh? That's right, huh? Way to get a real one. So serving nine, serving ten. You know what? It looks like Samade just just going on that side for a few plays, putting a few balls away. It looks like her confidence yeah. goes right back to par. So she's ready. I also thought since the wind was blowing off the water, she probably needed the uh, the easier serve to, to receive. There she, oh, that was a great shot. That was a good block. Yeah, very nice good block. High off the ground. Yeah, Anytime someone's roll, roll shot or has to go up and down, do. that gives they the do. defender a chance. Any chance? Anytime it goes just down, where the, where the the point of contact in the apex is where the person's knuckle is, that's trouble. Yeah. But once again, our side out machines doing their thing. Good high pass. She goes over. Oh, out of bounds. just out of bounds. Very patient. Samade thought she might have gotten that win, but you know what? We're going to switch over at 12 9. That's right. We're taking the technical timeout. This is the National League. As we take our technical timeout, we're going to talk about something called Australian Gold. Australian Gold Sunscreen provides the broad spectrum protection you need while our unique bronzers give you an immediate sun-kissed glow, even on your first day at the beach. Check out Australian Gold out on the web at AustralianGold.com and on Facebook, Facebook.com backslash Live the Gold Life. Australian Gold, the official sunscreen of the NVL. Thank goodness for those guys being out here, I'll tell you what. Well, that's something else moving from New York I had to be pretty particular about. Yeah. They called me the vampire. <laughs> not, not only did I enjoy the nightlife, I just, I, I just, my, my body actually refused to, refused to get its hand. Yeah. <laughs> you know you're white and you can put fingerprints on chalk. Yeah, right. It's just, I, I was just white. And now I'm trying to avoid the hot dog tan. Yeah, right. <laughs> So checking out the road to the championship, Ferreira and Marcinia have only lost one set the entire tournament, pretty much beating everybody in straight sets. The one set, however, they lost was in the third round to Hildreth and yes. Samadeh. Yeah, so it's a rematch, basically, of sorts. So. Hildreth and Samadeh came in as the fourth seed. 
two sets to one, and then second round um, in relative ease by five five points apiece, and then uh, Carl Ferreira and my my Cinderac. Um, they get knocked into the losers bracket or the contenders bracket, but that, by the time they get knocked down there, there's only one match to play. Yeah. So that's an automatic uh, quarterfinal. Yeah. That was it. They win that and they get to the semifinals and. Here they are, back in the finals, in a rematch. But, but yet, trailing by three against the potential champions. Carolina with a nice serve. I'm going to set a right. To strategize moving the set around a little bit? They may have. We'll see if she keeps pushing her out fast. That way she gets set in the middle. Right. You know. Serve forward, middle forward, but that oh, good tough serve. Too bad if she misses that serve. Yeah. You were talking about on um, her, her passing instead of forward, she's going to pass a little middle. And some, and some players like to take that because you know what? If they can turn that line very hard and quick, get some kind of two options. I mean, even if you come out, hits, but I mean, maybe she feels more comfortable with actually going in hard right to the middle and then making that turn. But she's done all. Oh, She was a setter in college, and she's one of the few girls that you will see consistently hand set. Yeah, out here. She's got pretty hands. What a great she does. Nice, nice, touch. Touch. nice girl. Yeah, Nice touch by Hildreth. Hildreth approached it at a funny angle, tried to recover and couldn't. And get to see. Did she reach out there with her left hand on that? She did. Okay. And now serving in 14-11, Marciniak. Oh, left what a shoulder good, again. tough. They got to switch again. Yeah. That right there was just the perfect. Side, left of her body. And it actually didn't go right past, maybe what, maybe went 15 feet over the net and dropped. It's also so. the potential uh, wind side for receiving. Exactly. The water going left, um, the blast off the water. Oh, she's going to do it right again. I mean, Here this time she gets it put straight up. Let's see. She capitalized on that. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a great catch. Yeah, that comes from a high jump. Do you agree? Yeah. Just she, a fast fall and cut. She got up there. She kind of had a little. She had some options and she took that one. So. Playing with a lot more confidence. Yes. 12 15 is the score. Next point switches. I think they would prefer 13 15 over 16 12. Oh, big. Nice serve. Let's see. Yes, Ferreira. Oh, Ferreira just won. So they misses. get it. They get that 13 15 switch. So they, they Somebody switch. Want to, might want to tuck that rubber band in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See if they can get within, get within one right here. They so trail by two. Yeah. 13 15. The number four seed who lost in Good devastating serve. fashion in the first to go set. Down that line. She wasn't able to get over the net with it. I think she missed it. Yeah. I think she it hit the right side. I think it hit the, the inside of her right hand and it chopped that way. Let's see what Ferreira does. She's going to jump. Her. Right, same thing. I think net that, serve for net serve. Yeah. I think she tossed that one a little too far inside of the court. So will Marina go um, floater or will she go a little bit tougher? I think she'll go a little floater. Yeah. Right there in the middle. There's a set's gonna so wind up out of the middle. See, she turns very see she turned on that one. She turns very well. But it's one of those things that Hildreth can't break until she she's gotta know where she's gonna go because she, yeah. she the elevation was so she high. She squares up, she elevates, and then she just turns her, she just cuts it, cuts it right back to that line. Nice sir, nice photo. This is on the inside, so let's see. Boom. Nice. Oh. That cut she that cut shot is just a sharp one. Not the first time we saw it. We're actually, maybe she's hoping that sets up some of her other power shots. Yeah. Good elevation. Nice touch on the ball. Hildreth. Really was trying to find a way to There she goes. Another good pass. Beautiful pass. Perfect set. See, and over the top and in. I was in. But but can you appreciate the elevation and the point of contact to how high? Yes. Gravity, yes. gravity does, does a lot of the rest of that. It does. And I'm, that's impressive in this thing. I'll tell you what. 
Yeah. That's right. We are in um, Sloggy Sand, Hermosa Beach. Yes, yes. I train out here twice a week. There's some days I leave with a, catching a fit. <laughs> Nice hot set in the middle. Oh, she gets it. Nice she touch on it. Nice it. soft block, but I like that she took a brave swing. Yeah. She's, anything softer than that it might not might not land on the, the, the side of the opposition. Yeah. It's got to be aggressive. They've got to both be aggressive from here on out. 16, 18. Nice serve. Got right. See if she can get a block on this one. Oh, right oh there's block. a beautiful swing. Yeah. That switch is 1916. Two points away from winning the championship. See if they keep it back on Samade. Yeah, keep it on yes, Samade. Do. Yep. Good, good pass. She Go needs to side out. Jay, oh, out. good hard swing. Way to be aggressive on that one. That is pretty. 17-19. So this is a pivotal point right here. This can be, this can be a game changer. Get within one. Get a, get a block. Yeah. Get a dig, and then see what happens. Let's go. Another perfect pass. Another perfect set. And another perfect oh. line over. The word perfection has been said a lot. Yes. As our number one seed continues to pursue it and strive for it. Oh, Ed. Ed. And near achievement. Ed. And um, match point opportunity number one. 20 to 17. They want that one. It was Ferrero and Marcinia. So back to Samade. But she's pushing her out. She goes to the middle. Somebody oh. cuts back and she misses. And that's it. That's going to be it, guys. Good that's our winners. Good. Winning in dominating fashion. Winning by four points or more in almost every single set. Yeah, all the way good. to the finals. They, our new champions. Our NDL champions of Hermosa Beach, California. Our Raquel Ferreira and Carolina. Kaya Marcinia. That's right. Great, great job, effort bro. by Hildreth and great effort by Samadek. Yeah. It's been under constant pressure from beginning to the end. She played her heart out. I give her credit too. Well, they get the big check. Great job. I want to thank everyone for joining on in to the women's final, the Hermosa Beach Open. Smells like victory. <laughs> Carolina, Rockdown. Look at that, you get yourself a trophy. Oh. You get yourself a check. Very nice. These lovely young ladies presenting that to you with a big hug. Yeah. All the love, adorable. A great job once again. For those of you that are still with us and watching the festivities of the women's game, the second semifinal match of the men's has finished the number one seed, Palm and Zahn, have defeated Del Sol and Marcinia. Number one defeats number two in the semifinals, and now the number one seed will face off against the number 13 seed that worked their way all the way from the qualifiers to the very end here for the men's finals, which is up next. Amazing job once again, Raquel, Kaya. I mean, you came together in the offseason, decided to you know, come together, and uh, it seemed like you'd be dominant. And so far, three out of four championships. Three out of four.